Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn. Myself Dayanand. So in the last video I had showed you an Excel VBA 2016. How do we retrieve information from the database stored in the same file or some other file? Okay, now this is the continuation of example 3. Uh, the first part is already covered in the video. So if you have not watched it, please go back and check my uh, part 16 video. And this uh, part 17, I'm going to teach you the second half of the, the form, which is status and remarks and submit button. How do we program the submit button and bit of coding? Okay, uh, before we continue, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done and share it with your friends. As I always say, sharing is caring and together we can learn and earn. Thank you. Let me show you the demo of it. Now, user enters the, the UID, user ID and click on go, which will automatically pull out subject line, priority and source, this information. Now, after working this information, what the, the person does, he'll have to key in some more information back into the database. So this is a retrieval and this is storage. Say for example, I'm working on this case ID. This is the information that I have to uh, consider. After working this, I need to update the status of my work, either completed, forwarded or pending. Say uh, uh, for this example, I'll say completed. Okay. And work finished. Some, some comment or remarks and click on submit you see success data saved so now this uh, how it happened if I show you the source file you can see this here 100168 completed work finished right this automatically captures uh, saves the value of this status box in the status column remarks, remarks in the remarks column and also captures the time it was actually submitted. Now you see this time here, 8.55, which is 20.55 in my computer. And this uh, form was submitted just a few seconds ago. 8.54 it shows. Okay. Let me show you one more example of this. I'm going to take 100174 UID. 100174. Add a trial. Yes, got it. Now let's say pending needs approval approval submit success data saved and if you see this here pending in the same column needs approval and data the date 2056 that is 856 now okay so now let me show you how do i how we should program these uh, the second part of the file so be excited this is going to be a good learning for you Okay, now let's switch over to VBA editor. So this is the form. Now I am coding this submit button. Just double click on the submit button. So you will be on to. Uh, this is what is all about. Submit button uh, till here. The programming for submit button. Very simple. Very simple. I don't want to make things complicated, believe me. None of my, if you see my coding, none of my codings are uh, complicated. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. You get the basic concept first clearly, then you can go to the next level of VBA. Okay. So that is advanced. Now you are, uh, the, the session is about making a beginners to advanced and the next version, the advanced VBA, where advanced to expert. So next levels like beginners to advanced and advanced to expert okay that we will see if possible we'll cover it in the next playlist okay now uh, some logic is simple application has to find the uid and then go to that row update these three fields that is the logic simple now how do i program it first thing you need the uid so uid take it from the UID text box value, which is this UID text box value taken. I'm going to see so it's being saved in a, a temporary, uh, sorry, a variable called UID. Now, this is not needed. Okay. I'm taking, uh, declaring Y as range, declaring Y variable as range. 
so z also has the range not required but i'll uh, just got extra variable i was working on some other complex functions here forget it forget this part but only remember i'm taking y as a range so y is equal to worksheet which is in these worksheets source is the sheet name which is this source and range is a to a which means entire a column a to a is nothing but a column a to k a to k a to b there's two columns okay now i'm going to use one another worksheet function called match which will retrieve the row number of this uid row number of the uid that is and the row number is being stored into r number r number nothing but row number okay application dot worksheet function dot match uid supplied which is the value in the text box comma the range which is described here but that is source file source page and then a column and this will the last part will be always zero zero okay now once you get this row number it tells you that for example row number 11 now we have one concept if you remember any cell can be represented with the help of row and column numbers say for example a1 is nothing but 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 like this every single cell can be referred with the number row and column number so i'm going to use the same here worksheet in the source worksheet cells the cells is what i'm going to use here cells the row number described whichever number being obtained by this match function from that row number sixth column update status combo box value i'll tell you what it is in the seventh column update remarks box value in the eighth column update now this function n o w now will just uh, type will insert date time of current calendar whatever there on your computer so if your computer shows incorrect date now formula will also give you incorrect date okay be careful your computer is always set to the right time zone in india okay or wherever you live in whichever country now this part is also not required once this is being saved we need to just clean the form so that it will be ready for the next entry to take and one small message saying uh, the message box success data saved okay now take an example i use this 100177 100177 you get this value now this uid has got what 100177 now the r number r number will be 14 the match value whatever uh, match function finds the value which will be stored in the r number is 14 14 comma 6 cells 14 comma 6 is equal to which means 14th row sixth column one two three four five six sixth column enter what enter status combo box value which what is it the uh, box which is this status is the combo box which has a drop down menu okay and the same 14th row seventh column update remarks box which is this and then same 14th row and the eighth column enter the time and the date of today just like this so this is the status this is the status forward to technical team tech team okay data saved now you see here forwarded forward to tech team and the date and time is captured automatically 2102 2102 now uh, this is being um, done with the help of these fun match function and cells formula and finally we need to clean the user form if we do not clean what happens all data will remain there only it will not be available for the next entries or somebody has to manually delete everything on the user form okay so it's very good practice for you to keep these calling cleaning user form initializing user forms are very much important for you now 
you may ask me then and tell me how do i add these values that into the drop down of this status combo box it is very simple now in the user form initialize okay i'll tell you how to get this one in the drop down choose user form and in the left side drop down choose initialize nothing but when user form opens like when the user form initializes for example i clicked on this user form initializes at this time what the values to be loaded to the user at the status box so with the status combo box you need to use this value add dot add item is the syntax dot add item and put whatever item you want to add in the drop down within the double quotes so if i want to add one more add item double quotes in the within the double quotes i'll mention completed forwarded pending and discarded discard it okay now if i run this so you see the discard option right after this okay that's how simple it is going to be and once i click on submit data comes and stores in the appropriate cell value now since the file the sheet is here only so it is very easy excel is doing it much quickly however if the sheet is in the network file then excel may take some time it take few seconds to update those data and uh, what else i wanted to show you is this one how am i getting this button and the moment you click on the button and the form opens this is simple this you already know it in the very beginning of this tutorial i explained you how to insert a form and how to write a macros onto the form similarly i have not done much here and just taken a shape here and put them there like just like this just like some some shape you can take and then start this this design that gives some shape or a color and then start giving that value what is it about click here or something and to assign that a user form just to just right click on that and then click on assign macro and then click on new macro is here you need to type the form name the user form so this is user form one dot show okay user form one dot show which is like this moment you anytime you click on it it for shows the user form simple and the credits i have just mentioned my name and my uh, other what i work on and here i have help function when somebody click on help it shows how to use this tracker some just basic information one two three steps okay any uh, doubts they can reach out to the provide a technical email address technical support email address okay that was the second part of it second part of the the module the user form with the storing the information back to the database these are quite commonly used across all the industries nowadays uh, especially if you're working in a call center or if you're working in a, any kind of organization where you need to access files remotely and then you, know, you want to update the file every now and then you people uh, if they're good and they can design something like this and then give it to the agent so original file will not be tampered only they'll be using a software a software kind of a tool based on created with help of excel with simple coding which i showed you already right so that that's all so now it's your duty to go back and then start working out this concept these learnings improve improving it and taking it to the next level any questions any doubts please do ping me on my comment section i'll try to answer all of you and also uh, please do watch my other playlist on how to make money online there are some cool stuff available uh, tips available for you to make make money online okay so don't forget to subscribe and share it together we can learn and earn have a great day happy learning all is well